Hello everyone, this is Gamma Edits and welcome back for another video. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a clickable animated side panel menu using the Morph Transition in Microsoft PowerPoint. This presentation is ideal for creating an engaging and interactive presentation. So let's get started. So first things first, we need to open Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm using the Microsoft PowerPoint 365 version. And we have here a blank slide which is colored blue and we're going to click the insert of shape and we're going to add this rounded corner rectangular shape and just drag it onto our slide. We can also adjust its roundness by clicking this yellow dot here just like that and we're going to adjust as well the length and the width of the shape. Once satisfied, we're going to move this side panel menu here and we're going to remove the outline of the shape as well as changing the color into white. We're going to add the shadow effect as well for this shape, just like this. And then we can also add our icons, click the insert, icons, and you can browse here different icons provided by Microsoft PowerPoint stock images. So fast forwarding this tutorial, here are the icons that we're going to use for this tutorial then we're going to align the shapes make sure that they are centered based on the location of our side panel menu and as well as they are distributed equally so we're going to adjust the placing of these icons or to easily align them just select them all and then click the graphics format align and then choose the distribute horizontally and with that, the icons are equally divided or equally spaced onto our side panel menu. So the next step is to change the color for this icon. So I'm going to change this color into a gray one. But you can decide for yourself what color do you want to use. So let's try this color as well for this last icon. Now we're going to duplicate or we're going to add slides according to the number of our icons so we have here seven icons so we need seven slides so we're going to duplicate this blank slide until we reach the seven slide mark now that we have seven slides we're going back to our first slide this time we're going to hyperlink each icon on the respective slide just right click the icon click the edit link click the place in this document and then choose the slide you want to land in whenever that icon is clicked for example this second icon edit link place in this document and we're going to choose the slide number two now for the third icon, we're going to hyperlink it to slide number 3. For the fourth icon, we're going to hyperlink it to slide number 4. For the fifth icon, slide number 5. Sixth icon, we're going to hyperlink it to slide number 6. And lastly, the seventh icon to slide number 7. Now it's time to add a additional design for this side panel menu. We're going to add a circular shape here, just like this. Then properly align this circle shape on our side panel menu. And then we're going to remove the outline of the shape. Remove outline and then change the color to like this one. And then we're going to send this to back. Send to back. As well as this white shape. We're going to send this to back. So that the circle shape will be visible under our icons. Now we're going to change the color of our first icon to a white. So this is to highlight that we are on our slide number one. Now we're going to copy the entire side panel menu onto the next slide. This time we're going to bring back the color of our first icon to its original color which is the gray one. Now we're going to move the circle shape downwards so that it will be placed under our second icon and this time we're going to change the color of this icon into white. Now repeating the same process, we're going to copy this entire side panel menu onto the next slide. And this time we're going to bring back the color of the second icon into gray since we are on slide 3. So the focus is on the third icon. So we're going to move this shape downwards here. 
and then change the color of the icon into white. So just repeat the process until we reach the last slide or our last icon. Now copy that and then paste for our next slide. Change the color into its original gray one. Move the shape and then change the color of this into white. And then copy this entire side panel menu again. Change the color into gray. Move the circle and apply the color white effect for our fifth icon since we are on slide 5. Now copy the slide panel menu again and moving on to slide number 6 or icon number 6. So it's time to bring back the color of that icon to gray, move the circle shape, and then change the color into white. And lastly for our last icon. And here is the progress so far for the tutorial. As you can see, we can jump to different slides by clicking the icons that represent each slide. This functionality is due to the hyperlink function that allows us to move interactively from one slide to another. The issue here is achieving a smooth movement of the circle shape. So we need to apply the morph transition to all our slides. Just select all the slides, go to the transition tab, and click the morph function. Additionally, we can adjust the timing of the transition duration. And here is the result for this. The circle moves smoothly as we navigate from each icon. This improvement is thanks to the hyperlink and morph transition functions in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, it's time to add the content to our presentation. I have included different information on each slide. So you can design your presentation according to the content that you need. So here's a preview of our progress so far after adding the content. As you can see, the content simply fades as we navigate from slide to slide using the hyperlink function. However, we can further customize the morph transition for the slide content. Back in editing the presentation, for instance, on our first slide, we can select the content of the first slide, copy it, move to the second slide, and paste the elements, and then move them upwards. By doing this, we morph the movement of the element from the center on slide 1 to an upward direction on slide number 2. Here is the original position of the element, and once we shift to slide number 2, that element will move upward via the morph transition. Now we're going to copy this content from slide number 2, the reporters, copy, and move it to slide number 1 which is our previous slide. But this time, we'll move the elements below. This will act as the entrance for slide number 2. The idea here is that the content for the reporters will originate from below, as you can see from the preview. Here is the original position of the reporters on slide number 1, and once we transition to slide number 2, they will move to the center of slide number 2. Now it's time for the reporters to exit as we move from slide number 2 to slide number 3. We will simply copy all the elements from slide 2 and move to the slide 3 and then paste them. Move them upward similar to what we did on the first slide. And let's observe the preview for this. As you observe, they moved upwards. Now onto the goals, we will copy all these elements. Just select all the elements right click and then copy now move to the previous slide and then paste them there this time we will position the elements below as we move them below the morph direction originates from this direction now let's see the preview from slide number three and that is perfect if you want to change the direction let's return to the second slide 
we will move this element slightly to the right side of the presentation. Remember that we shifted the elements to the right, so we are expecting that the direction will originate from this side. Now let's see the preview. You will notice that the movement originates from the right part of the slide. This is thanks to the morph transition. You can also customize the other slides here. So skipping ahead in the tutorial, I have already customized the morph transition for each element on every slide. So here's the final output for the tutorial. This presentation is made possible by the morph transition and hyperlink function in PowerPoint. It's ideal for anyone seeking to create an interactive and engaging PowerPoint to captivate their audience. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, clarifications, or suggestions, just comment down below. Once again, this is Gamma Edits and thank you for watching.